not to say in the beginning of these cat tag long videos. Like, I'm tired of saying hey guys, but. Hey guys, so today I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be a little different because I'm actually going to get personal and talk to you guys. I noticed that I posted like five videos and I haven't introduced myself in a video yet. So here it is. This is going to be a get ready with me slash get to know me tag. Yay! And yeah, um, y'all can get to know me a little bit through this video and I'm gonna do like a quick, simple, no makeup, makeup look. Just because I can't sit here and talk to the camera for like 20 minutes straight, like I can't. I'm gonna get bored and it's just not gonna be lit. So, if you wanna see how I do my no makeup, makeup look and want to get to know me a little bit more and just keep watching so y'all already know i already did my eyebrows like and all the products that i use in this video are the same exact products that i've been using so i'm not even gonna like list them down below i'm just going to link my other videos so you guys can reference those and look at the products that i've been using and today I'm only going to use the NYX Total Control for foundation because it's very lightweight and it fits my skin tone perfectly. So I got my computer right here. And yeah, I'm going to just start answering some of these questions. So the first one is, what is your middle name? Why are they only asking for my middle name? Um... Uh, yeah, I already primed my face, moisturized my face. Okay, yeah. Um, back to the question. I'm just going to tell you guys my whole name because I feel like it's weird if I only tell you my middle name. So, my whole name is Jatera Brene Brown. Hence, my YouTube channel is Jatera Brene. So, yeah, Brene, uh, blah, blah, blah. Brene is my middle name. Um, and people are probably going to wonder like where my mom got that name from she said that she had a dream one night and she was pushing this is was while she was pregnant with me she was pushing a stroller down the street and a lady walked up to her and was like oh the baby's so pretty was her name and in the dream my mom said jatera so she just named me jatera i don't know i love my name i don't hear a lot of people with that name so yeah I love it. And middle, my middle name, I think one of my aunts helped her get that name. And to me, it's just the ghetto version of Brianna. So, yeah. That was being extra. Um, but, yeah. I like my whole name. Number two is, what's your favorite color? And my favorite color used to be purple, like a lavender purple. However, I don't really bang with purple no more. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Let me turn my phone off. I said bang. Though. like I like like mauvey pink now and um I look really good in gray I think hence my shirt so uh I would have to say mauvey pink and gray I wear gray all the time if anyone knows me y'all know I'm always wearing gray who was your first best friend I've had a lot of best friends um my first best friend first best friend ever her name was Jocelyn uh, we met elementary school and uh, when we first met each other, we actually fought. Uh, we looked just alike, like like twins, literally. But um, first we bumped heads, but then we became best friends. How tall are you? The last time I went to the doctor, they said I was like five one and a half. So yeah, I'm about to. <laughs> Number five, cats or dogs? Um, I love both, but I've always had dogs in my life, like throughout my life. So I'm gonna stay dogs. Number six is funniest moment throughout school. <laughs> okay, so my best friend Leah is going to be mad at me for doing this because the funny moment is about her. In high school, we sat down and ate lunch together every day and we would literally have like a potluck going on. Like, I was known for having the best lunches and everybody would just eat off of each other, you know, like share amongst one another and whatnot. So we all sitting out eating lunch like having a regular day. And I don't know where I think Leah was laughing too hard at something, like a joke or something. And she just like real life shot this fat ass booger out her nose onto the lunch table like mo. When I tell 
tell you, she was so embarrassed and I was dying the fuck laughing. Like, that was some of the funniest shit I ever witnessed in my life. Like, fuck just in school. Like, that was some of the funniest shit ever. Like, I laughed so hard. Everybody jumped up from the table and ran to another table. Like, it was nasty and funny as fuck at the same time. Like, that shit was hilarious. She was mad at us for, like, two days. So, that was number six. Oh, wait. It's, it's another funny moment. Okay. Okay, so we had a lot of different, um, a lot of different principals in our school. So one principal, no one really liked because he made a lot of our favorite teachers leave and it just, it just wasn't good. So my school actually protested against my principal and that shit was funny as hell because people was running down the hallways going crazy going off people was like being real disrespectful to teachers and i was in this program so um and i'm still in it so they give me money every year for college so i wasn't trying to like they basically they said if we was to join the protest and leave the school we would get kicked out and we would get our money taken away from us and that wasn't happening because since i need them coins so I stayed my black ass in school while everybody was running around going crazy and I just saw everything from like the top floor people was outside they had like I think a newscast like a news reporter came to my school and all that like it was just crazy but it was just funny seeing everybody's reactions and whatnot so number seven is how many countries have you visited unfortunately I haven't visited anyone but the one that I'm fucking in right now so yeah but catch me catch me in two years number eight are you in slash have you gone to college i am in college unfortunately it's like no i'm in college and i attend the university of virginia in charlottesville virginia and i'm a third year what you guys call junior so yeah i gotta give you a it's like, no. number nine what was your favorite slash worst subject in high school Favorite subject will have to be English and art. I took music too and that was fun, but I didn't really like my teacher, so I'm gonna have to say English and art. I'm only putting a little bit of concealer on because like I said, this is a no makeup makeup look. So yeah. Um, and my worst favorite subject, worst subject, have you said, was math. Anything dealing with math. Like, I got straight A's in high school. Smart as fuck. But, um, yeah, I didn't fuck with math. It made me think too much. And it was just annoying. And <sighs> took too much effort. So, worst subject was math. Okay, so, unfortunately, my damn camera stopped recording. And I don't know when it stopped recording. So, I'm just gonna do, like, the last three questions over. Just in case I didn't get that. So, number 10 was, what's your favorite drink? Um, alcoholic is pina coladas and tequila sunrises. Number 11 was, what's your favorite animal? Puppies. And number 12 was, what's your favorite perfume? And it's this, guys. It's, it smells so damn good. It's by Prada. And it's called Candy Kiss. It smells so good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It smells so good. Product Candy Kiss. It smells so good. If you never tried it, try it. It's gonna change your life. Like, sis, it smells so good. It's highly expensive though, obviously, because it's Prada, but it smells so good. Um, and I got it from Sephora. 13 is key. Oh, uh, look, I say key. I got the keys, keys, keys. Okay. 13 is tea or coffee. Um, I'm gonna say coffee. Cause I like both. But I have to be in the mood for tea, so I'ma say coffee. Um, fourteen. What would you or have you named your children? All right, so uh, I got my kids' names all together already. Okay, but hopefully I want my boy first, and his name is gonna be Messiah Zaire. And love short story time. Okay, so one day I was reading this book from Africa in one of my African classes that I took last semester. And the name Messiah and the name of uh, Zaire was on the same page. 
as I was reading and I was like what the fuck like I was like is this really happening right now like oh like that has to be my son name because that ain't, that ain't no kawinky dinky I have a little thingamajig right here I'm gonna cover up like that cannot be a coincidence like his first and middle name was on the book page so yeah it's gonna be my boy's name and when I have my daughter her name is gonna be Melani Azari so yeah those are my kids names number 15 what sports do you play or have you played I play a lot come to think of it like okay so first sport I ever played in life was a pom-pom being a pom-pom girl it's like the equivalent of a cheerleader but I was like in first grade so that's what they called the little tiny girls. We were pom-poms. Then I did gymnastics during the summer of my elementary school years. And then, um, going into, okay, wait. The summer before, the summer between 5th and 6th grade, I, I played tennis. And I really liked it. And I was really good. Like, I could have been on my Venus Serena shit, but I stopped playing. Um, then when I got to... I think it was 6th or 7th grade I started playing so oh wait pause I skipped something elementary school I also danced on this dancing team called um city dance so yeah I did that my little curls is just curling all up um so then when I got to middle school I did soccer this thing called DC scores it was like soccer and poetry is the dumbest shit I ever participated in but I did it with one of my best friends just so we can do something after school together um then I got back into cheerleading in like the 10th grade I think and I was captain but then I got that shit taken away from me because of my attitude but anyways <laughs> um and yeah Number 16 is what's your favorite book? Okay, so I have a legit favorite book. I cannot think of the name of it. Like, my memory is sad. Like, I'm surprised I haven't called my best friend to, like, help me with these questions yet. Because I really, like, she knows my life better than me. Like, this is so sad. But I can't remember it. I read it in, like, the 7th grade. And it's been my favorite book ever since. But... Another favorite book of mine that I read is called Little B. I read it in, I think, my senior year of high school. And I really like that book. Um, 17 is what are some of your favorite YouTubers? Okay, so I've been watching YouTube for forever. I have so many. Um, Smartista Beauty or Brie Hall. Um, That's My Ray Ray or It's My Ray Ray. It's My Ray Ray. Sorry. Um, who else? Is her name... Honey, honey, hold on. I gotta look at my thingamajig because I, I have, I'm subscribed to like too many people. Um, Aaliyah J. Um, the first person I ever started watching was Sunkiss Alba. I love her. Holly Boom. Okay, I love her. She's so lit. Like her, first of all, I love her personality. Second of all, she's a cancer. Third of all, she know how to sing, and she slay her makeup, so I love her. Oh, and that quote, I just said something, I'm a cancer. Yeah, that's, my zodiac sign isn't one of these questions, but, yeah, I'm a cancer. I don't think my age is a question on here either. I'm 19 right now, but it's the 12th, and my birthday is the 15th of July, so I will be 23. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'm basically 20 shorty. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Uh-uh, and these brushes is from Morphe. Uh-uh, sis, I'm gonna get my money back. That's probably why this shit was discontinued. Because why the fuck would that ever happen? I don't have time. I'm not built for this, I don't have time. 18 is what is your favorite movie? What is my favorite movie? I don't know. One of my favorite movies as a child was Love Don't Cost a Thing. I know that for sure. I just did this all wrong. Like, um, um, I don't know what that is. So, I'm gonna put some concealer back right there. Cause I just fucked that up a little bit. 
But um, as a child, one of my favorite movies was um, Love Don't Cost a Thing. Um, Christmas movies, The Grinch, um, The Lion King. I'm a fat ass child, basically. I'm just a big child. Um, what else? Suicide Squad. There we go. Okay. I love that movie, and I'm not really into, like, superhero villain shit like that, but I fucking love the movie Suicide Squad. Like, it was so good. I have other favorite movies, I just really just can't think of it right now, so it ain't that big of a deal. Next question. 19, are you single or taken? <laughs> I'm taken, y'all. I'm taken. It's not promise ring. I'm taken. Okay, uh... So yeah, favorite childhood memories would have to be anything involving family and going on camera trips. Cause they used to be fun as hell. Um, number 23, do you speak any different languages and how well? Um, in elementary school I was taught how to speak French, but I forgot that shit. I was really good at it though. I should get back onto it. And um, I've been taking Spanish since like the 10th grade in high school. Um, I took it in college as well, so, like, I can have a conversation in Spanish, but don't be over here asking me what does this mean, what does that mean, because the girl is not going to fucking know. Um, 24, do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I actually have a lot of them. Okay, so, there's Darius. This is the order of, from oldest to youngest. There's Darius, me, Tatiana, Devin. Dion, Cassidy, and my little brother EJ who is baking in my mama's oven as we speak. So in total that yeah, six. Um Darius and Toddy are my step siblings. My father married their mother. Um and I think they've been together since the age since I was like four or five. So they've been in my life, uh my whole life. Uh, basically um 25 how would you describe your fashion sense my fashion sense I would say is all over the place like I can look like a girl one day and I'm dressing like a boy one day like I'll be in um heels in a dress one day and next day you'll catch me in sweats and J's so like I'll say versatile if I had to describe it in like one word I will say versatile I'm breaking out over here. Oh my god. See, this is why I gotta do this detox water so my skin could be glistening. 26. What's your favorite restaurant? The girl's too fat to pick one, but. What's my favorite restaurant? As a child, it used to be Olive Garden for some reason. I just really like their salads. But that's not my favorite restaurant anymore. Um, I live in D.C., so it's this bomb-ass sushi place slash carry-out place, um, on Eastern Market that me and my mom goes to. And I think I really like it just because all the memories that I've had with her. But the food is actually really, really good, too. But, um, I don't even know the name of it. I suck. Oh, I suck. I'm sorry. I suck. <laughs> 27, what are some of your favorite TV shows? Girl, I got so many. Okay, so, uh, favorite all time will have to be Criminal Minds. I can watch that all day, every day, no matter what. I love me some Criminal Minds. Um, Law and Order. I used to be in love with Orange is the New Black. However, this, this, this season that just came out was throwing me off. I didn't really like it. I didn't even finish it. So, that says something. Get it together, Orange is the New Black. Um, PC or Mac, um, I have a Dell laptop, but I really want a Mac, so what does that mean? 29, what phone do you have? This my phone, guys. This my phone. This my phone with my ugly little thingamajig. Who's these, um, notifications? This is my phone. This is my phone. I have the iPhone 6S in gold. And 30, tell us one of your bad habits. Forgetting things. Obvious, obviously, you know. I forgot so many things in this damn video. It was ridiculous. What are some of my other bad habits? What the fuck is on my lip? <laughs> um, 
I gotta stop cuss stop cussing. Cussing. Cussing is a really bad habit of mine. <laughs> and procrastinating. That's like the biggest one that like I really don't like about myself. I'm such a procrastinator. Like I was supposed to record this video at nine o'clock this morning. Like, uh I woke up at nine o'clock this morning, but then I was doing different stuff throughout the day and now it is seven thirty seven. I'm just now recording this video. So yeah, procrastination. And uh, that was number thirty. That is the last question. I'm not even done with my makeup. Like wow. What are some other things that I want you guys to know about me that wasn't on this thing while I finish? Um, where I'm from wasn't on here. I'm from Washington D.C. Born and raised here. Went to high school here. They didn't ask me what I like to do in my free time. Um, I like to cook. Um, I like cooking, listening to all types of music, and I like to travel. I haven't even traveled a lot of places in my life, but uh, if it's anything new, I like to do it. If um, I can't wait to do a Snapchat um what's it called like when you guys send me questions on snapchat or send them to me on twitter and then i can answer what you guys really want to know i can't wait to do that like that's gonna be so fun but yeah um i guess this is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and got to know me a little bit more don't forget to subscribe um like comment and Turn on your push notifications and follow me on all my social media platforms. And I will see you guys next time.